A study out of the University of Michigan could help cut your commute time down. Researchers looking at how to reduce the amount of red lights you have to stop at by studying those traffic patterns. Our Kim DiGiulio explains how it could work. There is nothing worse than getting stopped at a red light that just feels like it's never going to turn green. Well, imagine if your car was connected to those traffic lights, which would make for a seamless drive without those long stops. Sometimes traffic lights have the timing all off. Majority of them are on a fixed point detection system, which isn't the most efficient. A lot of times they're prone to maintenance errors, especially in the, in the winter. The snow and ice can kind of mess with those detectors. Additionally, most lights are expensive to program, and it doesn't happen very often. Signal retiming is happens every three to five years and can cost around $5,000. And a lot of that is due to the data limitations. Zachary Jerome is a researcher from the University of Michigan who is working under lead researcher Jingmen Wong to fix the timing problem of traffic lights by studying GPS data they received from connected GM vehicles. This system does not really guarantee that we can always decrease this number of stop and delay, but it is a very powerful tool to detect whether we can improve the current, current uh, system. The 18-month study was conducted in Birmingham, studying the traffic flows at intersections. Let's say you get a green light on one intersection. We want to make sure that when you get to the next intersection, you hit a green light, and that happens to the entire corridor. And if that's, let's say that it's poorly timed, you might hit, you might get a green light and then hit a red light the next intersection and hit a red, red light the next intersection. This study out of Birmingham is the world's first large scale cloud based traffic signal retiming system, and it represents an opportunity for communities to retime their signal patterns more often. Instead of three to five years, three to four times a year, uh, quarterly that sort of thing. Now this would really be a win-win situation because think about it. If you're not stopped for so long at those red lights, well that's good for your commute, but it's also good for the environment with less emissions going into our air. I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.